Are you struggling to grow your small account? Do you always end up blowing your small account? I've been there and done that. So I want to show you five easy strategies that will allow you to 10x your small account. So the easiest way to grow your small account is to risk 100% of your trading account. So if you have $1,000 in your small account and you risk 100% and there'll be betting $1,000 on each trade, right? So let's say you have a one is to one risk to reward ratio. And guess what? You won that trade. Then congratulations, you have managed to double your trading account. So you won $1,000 and you have managed to double your trading account and now it's at $2,000 because you risk 100% of your account, right? Yay, you made $1,000. But what's the downside? Yes, you can double your account with one trade in just like a few hours, but is this something that you can consistently do every single month over the next one year or the next five year? or 10 years? The answer is no, because it's only a matter of time before you start going through a losing streak and you will end up losing everything. This is what your account equity curve should look like. It should be going up steadily. It should not be like go up a lot and then come down to zero, all right? So if you want this to be your account equity curve, watch this video till the end. And I guarantee you, that you will be able to grow your small account if you apply whatever I'm about to teach you. So I need you to be laser focused, monk mode baby, just put away all the distractions and just focus on what I have to say for the next few minutes. The first strategy is to only take high probability trades. You have a small account, so you do not have the luxury to trade normal trade setups because you want to preserve your capital so that when the high probability trade setup High probability, oh my god, that is so hard to pronounce. A high probability, oh my god, I lost my train of thought. So basically, you want to preserve your capital so that when a high probability trade setup comes along, you are able to take that trade. So what counts as a high probability trade? It depends on your strategy. For me, a high probability trade is where I have multiple confluences telling me that I should enter for the trade. So honestly, I normally look out for at least three, but to make it a high probability trade, I look for at least four confluence. The more confluences, the higher probability of you winning that trade. So confluences are basically things like confirmation, right? Like candlestick patterns, market structures, trend lines, support and resistance levels, all this stuff. So a low probability trade would be like trading during consolidation or when there are very less trading volumes and there's like small candlesticks, etc. And if you have been trading for a while, chances are you have like a gut feeling on whether you're going to win or lose that trade. And we all know that feeling, right? We all know that feeling. And sometimes you just have to trust that gut feeling to tell you that, okay, this is a high probability trade. Enter. And if you guys are wondering why I keep like looking on top, it's because I'm looking at the monitor which is like displaying the slides. The second strategy is to set your risk per trade. Risk management is boring. I know, all right, but boring works. All the strategies I'm sharing with you today are not the most interesting strategies like martingale strategy or flip a coin to determine whether you should buy or sell. But these strategies I'm sharing with you today, they work even though they are boring. So the most important rule to grow a small trading account is to clearly set your risk management rules. Without a proper risk management plan, there is a higher chance that you will blow your trading account. So my advice for you is to control how much money you are risking per trade on each trade. The common rule is that you should only be risking 1% of your account on each trade. But I understand that 1% on a small account like a $100 account is only $1. So adjust this according to your account size. Like you might want to risk more if you have a smaller account. Ultimately, it depends on how much are you willing to lose. 
per trade are you comfortable with that amount if not use a smaller lot size and how you determine the lot size is by using a position size calculator you can just go google any position size calculator and it will allow you to determine what lot size should you be using based on the amount of money you are risking per trade no matter how much money you risk per trade you must stick to a proper risk to reward ratio of 1 is to 2 or honestly i look out for 1 is to 3 meaning that the potential profit should be triple or at least double the potential loss on the trade the third strategy is to stop trying to flip your small account guys i know this sounds counterproductive but trust me i really need you guys to trust me on this one you need to stop trying to flip your small account all right here's why most retail traders with small trading accounts have this disease called the small account mentality it's like the small dick energy all right but it's it's small account mentality and it's this mentality that is causing you guys to blow your account and continuously fail to make money in the market so the small account mentality happens when you are constantly looking for trades and desperately trying to force money out of the market and this will cause you to take a lot of low probability trades like the one you see on the screen right now and these low probability trades causes you to lose money traders with big accounts do not feel the pressure or a need to trade they are more relaxed they are more patient and this results in them making money faster than the small account mentality trader the small dick energy trader there's this trick that you can do just mentally add two or three zeros at the end of your trading account balance and if you do this it will take a lot of urgency out of trading that you might be feeling right now and you won't feel like you have to trade every single day and take every single trade and this will definitely help you grow your small account as cliche as it sounds you need to focus on the process not the money so there are a few things that you need to start doing right now number one be more disciplined work on your trading discipline things like using a smaller lot size and following your trading plan or follow your risk management plan and also you should be focusing on making less mistakes you know how when you're just starting out you make a lot of beginner mistakes like over trading or using a lot of sizes that is way too big for your account or not following your trading plan all these are mistakes that you can try to reduce so as you try to reduce these mistakes guess what you are becoming a better trader and when you become a better trader the money will come so obviously these things are so hard to do like they're so difficult to master things like trading discipline and following your risk management plan it takes a few months to master all these things or even a few years right but they are so important if you really want to become a successful trader or a millionaire trader you need to master these few things like becoming more disciplined or making less beginner mistakes or following your trading plan following your risk management plan this will really allow you to trade objectively instead of letting emotions cloud your trade cloud your judgment and end up blowing that blowing that account the fifth strategy is to slowly increase your position size as your account gets bigger and bigger you need to start using a bigger lot size but you should still try to stick with your risk management rules so an example is the one that you can see on the screen right now let's say right now you have a hundred dollars account like a small little hundred dollars account right so the lot size that you should be using is obviously the smaller lot size the 0.01 that's the smallest lot size that you should be using or that is the correct lot size that you should be using so as your account gets bigger as it grows right so as you win a few trades in a row or you be, uh, you're becoming a better trader so you see your account starting to grow so maybe after a few weeks it grew to $1,200 right so in this scenario you should be increasing your lot size you should be slowly increasing your lot size as your account gets bigger why because if you want to grow your account fast 
you need to start making more money right and how you make mon more money is by increasing your lot size and you also still need to stick with your risk management rules let's say you have a 100 dollars account right now and you risk one percent that is only one dollars but then if you have a one thousand dollars account and you risk one percent that is ten dollars obviously you are going to be making more money on the one thousand dollars account so this is exactly why if you guys want to grow your small account fast like super fast you need to slowly increase your position size as your account gets bigger and bigger and let the compound effect do its thing here's a bonus tip for those people who are still watching this video you need to compound your account you should not be withdrawing your profits you need to let compound effect do its thing compound effect is like what the eighth wonder of the world or something but basically when you don't withdraw your profits right you leave your profits inside your account your accounts get bigger and bigger and this allows you to take trades that have a bigger lot size and this will allow you to make more money on those trades so you need to really focus on compounding that account and if you are able to compound that account you are able to grow your account gradually over time and you will look something like this the account curve looks like this like literally like this because that's the power of compound effect so if you guys have learned something i need you guys to smash the like button and comment down below if you guys want to see a part two because i've not shared with you all my tips yet i still have some other tips that i want to share with you guys in a part two so if you want to see that video i need you to like and comment and hit on the subscribe button to join the tribe if you haven't remember you're just one trade away boys